Hello, welcome to Odds on Premier League. We enjoyed the first week, especially that Liverpool leads. And now we have already the second week of the Premier League with the Manchester teams already in action and also Chelsea, Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. So let's take a look at the odds, see which bets we can do and let's take the most of the second week of the Premier League. So the second week of the Premier League we have now all the teams in action. Man City and Man United had a little bit more of rest because they finished the season later and they are gonna play this week. And also we have a really good clash for the fight of the title. We have Chelsea, Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. But first things first, and let's start with the games on Saturday. And we have to open this week Everton, West Bromwich, Albion at Goodison Park. We saw and we said also last week that Everton, I think they can make a really good season this time. They have a really good coach, Ancelotti, who is building an interesting project. And we saw how they made a big surprise, I would say, beating Tottenham at White Hart Lane. That goal, that header scored by Carter Lewin was the winner for Everton. So good start of the season and they are playing against West Bromwich Albion who were completely thrashed at home against Leicester. The first half was okay, but then the Foxes were way better. So here I think it's pretty clear bet for me and Everton is really favorite. We check the odds on speed and we have one point 59 for Everton, the draw is 4.50 and the victory of West Brom is 6.65. And then to continue on Saturday we have, we have Leeds Fulham, first Premier League game after so many years at Elland Road, the classic Leeds Stadium and we saw the defeat of both teams in the first week both Leeds and Fulham returned to the Premier League and they were defeated by Liverpool and Arsenal of course we all expected both teams to lose but it's also important how you lose and the thing is that Leeds made a very very good game at Anfield whereas Fulham were completely poor they were actually making the same mistakes they made like two years ago when they returned to the uh, Premier League What's that? A lot of defensive errors and Arsenal, a team like Arsenal, punish you. So the star for the Southwest London team was pretty poor and now they face Fulham at uh, Leeds. So last season in the championship, actually Leeds beat Fulham at Ellen Road and Fulham was able to get a victory at their home in Craving Cottage. So here for Bielsa's team we have 1.68 odds. The draw is 4.25 and Fulham's victory is 6.0. I would trust the victory of uh, Leeds but I prefer another market here especially seeing what we saw in the first week. What's that? Leeds are really good in both areas, in both boxes. They created many problems to Liverpool, but their defense was not good. And as I said, Fulham's defense was completely terrible. So here I would go for the over 2.5 goals market. We have odds for 2.0, really appealing, I would say. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to back these uh, goals at Elland Road. And continue with the games on Saturday. We have Man United Crystal Palace. First game for the Red Devils in the season. They finished last season later because they were playing the last rounds of the Europa League. And this is Solskjaer News Project. Actually, it's pretty much the same as last season. They signed Van den Beek 
from Ajax, but I'm not actually sure if the Dutch player is gonna have a space in the starting 11, especially with that midfield with Pogba, with Matic, and of course with Bruno Fernandes, the key player last season for the good performance, I could say, of the Red Devils, especially at the in the second part of the season. I'm not very convinced about the level of Man United, especially to fight with Man City and with Liverpool for the title. I would say their goal this season is sad to say that, but it's gonna be staying in the top four again and clinching a spot on the next Champions League. However, in this game they face Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace won their first game, a goal scored by Saha, who else who is gonna go back actually to Old Trafford, so that was a very important victory against Southampton, that is their league, I would say, Crystal Palace should fight to stay out of the relegation position, so I'm not sure because the odds are very low here. If we see Man United, of course they are favorite, 1.34, the draw is 5.8 and Crystal Palace victory is 12.0. Here I wouldn't bet, to be honest, because the Man United victory is very, very low. I don't know how are they back from holidays. Maybe Crystal Palace can make even a surprise and get a point at Old Trafford. We have very high odds here, like 5 over 5. That would be a good option, in my opinion, but a risky one. I would say I would wait to see what is the level of the Red Devils in this season, because again, I don't expect a lot, a lot about them. And the last game we have on Saturday is a London Derby. Arsenal West Ham, second London Derby for Arsenal in the season. The first week they beat Fulham at Craven Cottage pretty easily and they are continuing with the good start of the season. They won the Community Shield, they ended up last season winning the FA Cup. So we have to say that Arteta is doing a good job. I can understand now all the Gunners fans that they are actually hoping for finally a good season. This could be either winning another trophy, Europa League, FA Cup, or even, I hope also for them, qualifying for the Champions League. They need to play the Champions League in La Liga, but for that, in the Premier League, but for that they have to finish in top four. I need, they need to win this kind of games, like the one they are playing against West Ham. We cannot be happy with their start of the season. We said that they made a terrible season last year with Pellegrini being sacked, then Moyes took over, but actually Moyes didn't do also a great job. They kept the category, the spot in the Premier League, but the results were pretty bad. And their start of the season was also bad. I would say the game was really balanced, but at the end, Newcastle United got the three points with two goals in the London Stadium. So here it's gonna be tough for West Ham, and we see the odds for Arsenal, I would say, quite high for the difference of the quality of both teams at the moment. We have Arsenal 1.58, we have the draw at 4.70, and West Ham's victory is 6.50 so i would back arsenal for sure but also if you want to pay a little bit more of money i think arsenal's defense is been pretty well is working in the last games and i see here under goals 2.41 under 2.5 goals, the odds are 2.41. So I think that could be also a good bet for you. And then moving forward to Sunday's games, the first one we find is in St. Mary's. Southampton, Tottenham, both teams lost their first game, but the situation is quite different, I would say. Because Tottenham played at home, their expectations are pretty high, I would say, with Mourinho 
on the bench, especially because last season was very hard for them. They had to sack Pochettino after reaching the Champions League final. And they expect a little bit more in the Premier League, at least fight for being in the top four. But they were defeated by Everton at White Hart Lane. So they expect to get something in St. Mary's. It's not an easy stadium at all. And if we see the odds, we have Southampton 3.14. The draw 3.48 and Tottenham 2.52. So the ones who are confident and they think Tottenham is gonna make a comeback and bounce back after their first defeat, they have good odds here for the Spurs. However, I'm not sure about it. I am always confident about Southampton in their stadium and I pretty much like the double chance actually 1x we have 1.64 odds if we check now the web of oddspedia and also even more interesting and that is gonna be my tip under 1.94 i expect a very tough game close one especially with two teams coming from getting a first defeat i don't think they will risk so I like that market, I would go for the under 2.5 goals. And if you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications whenever we publish new content. And also thumbs up if you like the video. You can also follow us on Spotify where you can listen to all our podcasts. And now let's check the other games that we have for Sunday, we find Newcastle Brighton. Good, very good start for Newcastle. They were able to get the three points out of the London Stadium, 0-2 against West Ham. And you know, it's always very tricky with the North England team because the expectations are always to stay closer to the Europeans position, but this year, of course, their main goal has to be staying out of the bottom three. I guess they are, they should be like, I don't know, the 13th, something like this, not being able to have a lot of problems during the competition, and that was a bright start. On the other hand, they faced Brighton, they started also losing against Chelsea, and this is gonna be a tough game for them. Actually, I pretty much like the odds here for Newcastle. I would back them. We have 2.71. The bookies expect a draw because the odds for both outcomes, Newcastle and Brighton, are quite the same. And we have the draw 3.35. However, I would go here for Newcastle. And then we have the best game of the week. Of course, I'm talking about Chelsea Liverpool at the Stamford Bridge. This is one of the first important game for the Premier League title battle. We saw already both teams. They were, I would say, especially Chelsea was pretty smooth, pretty easy victory. But Liverpool had a lot of problems, a lot of defensive problems. It's very rare seeing Van Dijk making that kind of mistakes and they have to be way better at Stamford Bridge if they want to win here in Southwest London. So we have the odds, Liverpool is favorite, we have Chelsea 3.34, draw is 3.88 and Liverpool to win 2.25. However, seeing their first game uh, of the Reds and how they finished also the season, even how they played the Community Shield, I am not gonna risk for Liverpool at all. On the contrary, they both showed that their attacking lines are working. Chelsea bought a lot of goal during this summer, whereas Liverpool, you know, they always have these three men on the attack, Salah, Firmino and Mane, especially the Egyptians, uh, the Egyptian Mohamed Salah was pretty good against uh, Leeds. So I would go for over 2.5, they have odds 1.68, I know it's not a lot, but still I think that's a 
our bet here because I'm not trusting Liverpool to beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And on Sunday, we also have Leicester Burnley, first game for the Turf Moor team in this Premier League against the Foxes, who started the season pretty well. They beat uh, easily, I would say, with also two penalties scored by Jamie Bardi, always on fire Bardi. And now they play at home at game, I would say, the Foxes should win. And the odds are pretty good, I would say. We have Leicester, one point. 71 to win, Detroit's 4.10 and Burnley's victory 5.75. So seeing how, especially how Leicester started the season and they are a way better team, I think they are going to be again fighting for the European positions. I don't know if that high as last season, that's going to be very difficult, but still they are going to be really up in the table so here i am going for a leicester victory especially seeing this appealing odds and on monday we have two games we have aston villa sheffield united sheffield united's first game was a tough one against wolverhampton and they lost at home whereas aston villa they have to make their debut and I think it's gonna be one of the teams that are gonna struggle a lot. I see them also like really down in the table like they were also last year. They signed work, only workings and cash only. So I think they have pretty much the same team and they should be in trouble. This is a very tough game for them to start with. Because Sheffield United, yeah, they lost against Wolverhampton, but you know and I know that they are a very good team. So the odds actually back in Sheffield are pretty appealing here. We have Aston Villa 2.78, the draw is 3.42, and Sheffield's victory is 2.86. That would be my pick here. Back in Sheffield especially, again, I'm not uh, very confident about Aston Villa's season we still have to see them again in this new premier league 2020 2021 but but i am more confident with sheffield united however i wouldn't put a lot of money here and the last game we have in this uh, interesting second week of the premier league is also a very very good one we have wolverhampton Man City, first game for the citizens in the competition. The citizens, we talked about it last week, are the favorites to win this title. And they have a very tough start about the Wolves. Remember that last season, Wolverhampton, Nuno Espiritu Santos team, they won both games. So, against the citizens, of course, I'm talking about. So. Be careful with this start of the season for Guardiola's men. They couldn't sign, we all know, Leo Messi. They lost Sané, for instance, and their signings are Ake and Ferran Torres from Valencia. Good player, but still quite young to make a difference, I would say. And if we check the odds here, we have Wolverhampton 7.50, and that's a lot. We have the draw 4.75 and Man City 1.52. Remember that Wolverhampton started the season beating Sheffield United 0-2 with Jimenez and Saiz scoring the goals in the first 10 minutes of the game. And again, I think Wolverhampton is a very good team. I wouldn't bet at all in Man City, especially seeing the odds 1.52. And Actually, the market I like here, maybe you don't agree with me. Let me know in the comment section also the things that um, the things that you think maybe, maybe, in my opinion, I would put my money in under 2.5 goals here. They are, the odds are 2.30 if we check now the website of oddspedia.com. So I think that's a good option, it's the first game of the season for Man City, Wolverhampton, we know it's a very defensive team, they know how to play and I don't see the citizens like going easily 
to Wolverhampton and clinch the victory. So, in my opinion, it's more valuable to place a bet on this under 2.5 goals. So as you can see, there are so many good games in this second week of the Premier League. We've analyzed everything on this show, on odds on Premier League. So now is your time to place your bet. Are you gonna bet on this Chelsea Liverpool? We have this Wolverhampton Man City. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section. And next week we will be back with more action about the Premier League.